What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including surprises and returns in store for SmackDown, TV 14 rating on hold, Mr. McMahon's mystery woman, AEW has been warned, Ric Flair explains why he's no longer friends with Triple H and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and an unwrestling channel, Incredible. Now let's do the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at surprises and returns in store for SmackDown. At top of today's news are rumours that fans should expect at least two returns for SmackDown. There's potential spoilers ahead, so be sure to check the timestamps if you don't want to hear them. Now, rumour has it that WWE is producing two episodes to lead into its Clash at the Castle show. With Clash taking place next Saturday, it makes sense to tape next Friday's episode to avoid any last minute travel troubles. Fightful is reported that New Day member Xavier Woods is scheduled to return just in time to lend a hand to Kofi Kingston who has to deal with a 2 on 1 disadvantage against Eric and Ivar of the Viking Raiders. But Woods was put on the shelf by the Raiders and will undoubtedly be eager to get payback on Eric and Ivar. But that's not the only return as Fightful is also claiming JBL will be on the 26th August Smackdown. In what capacity remains unknown but he's not the only WWE legend who is coming back. Hall of Famer Kurt Angle is planned to appear on the 29th August Smackdown. JBL has previously talked about possibly working as a manager, but it's unknown if the WWE wants him in the role or if he's still interested in such a role. With Crown Jewel coming up, it's possible the WWE could work a scenario similar to 2019 Saudi Arabia Super Show where Hulk Hogan managed a team of wrestlers against Ric Flair's team of wrestlers. What do you guys think of these returns and why are JBL and Angle appearing on television? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, TV14 rating on hold. Now is the WWE switching to TV 14? Well, that's the rumor that's been going around for months now and with Triple H steering the WWE's creative ship, fans have speculated who better to implement the change. While we've noted it's tricky to distinguish the content that's acceptable for TV 14 but not TV PG, the potential move has been the subject of much conversation. And now PW Insider's Mike Johnson was reporting, several weeks ago there was talk that WWE would be moving their TV ratings from TV PG to TV 14. While there was smoke to the fire at the time, that's no longer the case. PWInsider.com has learned from multiple sources that there are no current plans to change the company's TV ratings for their weekly series. Now we wouldn't make too much of this story, as discussed before, there's no indication that WWE intends to go back to the raunchier content of the Attitude Era, and while content has turned a bit more violent, the days of crimson masks on television seem to be over. Next up, Vince McMahon's Netflix series still on? Although Mr. McMahon's recent hush money scandal led to rumors that Netflix had cancelled the series, Meltzer is reporting, while the story going around was that the Vince McMahon scandal led to the cancellation of the Netflix series on the life of McMahon, that's not the case. They are doing a McMahon project currently with cooperation from WWE. Chris Smith is the director and executive producer. This is one of at least two major documentaries on the life of McMahon in production right now. The series was reportedly going to document Vince McMahon's struggles during the 90s when the federal government tried him for steroid distribution and several media outlets reported negatively on the company. But while the series may be on, we're not sure if Netflix will continue it if the WWE's board of directors investigation into McMahon reveal any seedy details. Next up, Mr. McMahon's Mystery Woman. As speaking of Vinnie Mac, the former WWE Kingpin recently celebrated his 77th birthday and according to TMZ Sports, he wasn't just accompanied by John Cena and Cena's wife, but by a mystery woman, who appears to be eating a handbag. TMZ reported a 77-year-old billionaire hit up the Waverly Inn restaurant in New York City and was naturally joined by Cena, the 16-time WWE Champion, and his wife Shay Shariadza. A TMZ Sports reported this is believed to be Vince's first public sighting since his retirement and that Vince appeared to have no interest in talking as he tried hiding his face as he was getting into his vehicle. According to the report, Vince's wife Linda was nowhere to be seen. However, someone uploaded a photo of Brock Lesnar and Pat McAfee standing outside the same restaurant Vinnie Mac celebrated his birthday, the implication being they were there to celebrate McMahon's 77th. Mr. McMahon celebrated his 77th birthday and if he enjoys the same longevity as his mom, he could be around for decades to come. A happy belated birthday to Vince McMahon. Next up, AEW has been warned. This week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter has an interesting note on Warner Brothers Discovery WBD issuing an edit to AEW. 
as word has gotten to the promotion from WBD that they'd like the language toned down. As best as we can tell, they have said nothing about the blood. With AEW working to please their new corporate partner, you can be sure they'll comply if this report is accurate. Just what WBD's idea of toning down language means could be tricky for Dynamite as wrestlers have grown accustomed to using harsher language. Next up, a big name appearing at Clash at the Castle. Could the rumors of Tyson Fury appearing at Clash at the Castle be true? The Gypsy King has been exchanging trash talk with Drew McIntyre for some time now with fans wondering if the two titans would clash in the ring. And now Brad Shepard is reporting on the situation saying, A source in WWE told me Tyson Fury is scheduled to be at the Clash at the Castle. Clash at the Castle will take place on Saturday, September 3rd, 2022 at Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. But with Crown Jewel around the corner, could the rumoured rumble between these two finally happen? If Fury does appear at the WWE's premium event in Wales, will he play a role in the Undisputed Championship match between Reigns and number one contender Drew McIntyre? Next up, WWE reconsidering NXT call-ups? Despite Triple H making major moves with talent, there's one planned NXT call-up that may go on hold. Meltzer reported that Toxic Attraction of Gigi Dolan and JC Jane were scheduled to go to the main roster. They did a social media video talking about how they were going to take over SmackDown from now on, but then the video was taken down. In the Dolan and Jane vs Natalia and Deville match, Dolan apparently forgot a lot of the match and Natalia had to hold the match together. Dolan apparently suffered a concussion and she and Jane were pulled from the tournament. A toxic attraction which also includes NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose has been tearing things up on NXT with fans wondering how long it'll be before all three women jump to the main roster. Given the recent influx of female talent, it might be prudent to keep toxic attraction on NXT so they aren't lost in the shuffle. Next up, Ric Flair explains why he's no longer friends with Triple H. As two became close during Flair's return to the WWE in 2002, with Helmsley reportedly thrilled to work alongside his idol. Flair in turn would credit Triple H with helping him get back his confidence after a wretched run in WCW during the Monday Night War. The Nature Boy and the game even worked together in the faction evolution, but recently Flair revealed he no longer speaks to Triple H. Ric Flair explained things during a recent episode of his To Be The Man podcast, saying, We had a big falling out over the trademark, the man issue, a big falling out, but I'd be very surprised if I wasn't in the top five people that reached out to Stephanie when he got sick. Certainly, as soon as I became aware of it, I called her and I called him, and he's the first person I called when Reed died. You may recall Flair wasn't happy when the WWE decided to trademark the man for Becky Lynch, despite Flair having used the nickname for decades. However, Flair sounds as if he thinks the friendship isn't finished. So for whatever people want to make out of our relationship or not, I feel like everybody has ups and downs. You have agreements, you have disagreements, but I can guarantee you this. I'll be at his funeral, and I guarantee you this, he'll be at mine. Everybody else can say what they want to say about it, or make what they want to make of it. Do you think Flair and Helmsley will repair their friendship? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, where's Paul Heyman? Last but not least, where's Paul Heyman? As fans last saw the Bloodlines Tribal Council when he took an F5 from Brock Lesnar onto a table. Well, Meltzer notes that Heyman has been absent in order to sell the injury, but claims Heyman is being advertised for Clash at the Castle. Now, it's unknown if Heyman is still working behind the scenes with creative or whether he's taken advantage of the absence to take some much needed time off. But there you have it, folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.